so down and my brain going. What is up, y'all? It's your girl Terry, and today I am back with part two of my most recent video. If you are a new viewer to my channel, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you turn on your post notifications so you can know when I post. And if you are a returning viewer, what's good? What's up? How you doing? I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. If you guys are new and haven't saw part one of this video, make sure you guys go see part one of this video before you watch this part. I'm going to link it in the description box down below so you guys can check it out and then you can come back and watch this part. But basically, I went shopping recently for some new beauty items, some new little items to my little makeup collection, my wig collection. So I've just been doing a little box opening to show you guys everything that I ordered. This is all the Amazon stuff still sitting next to me and now I'm recording part two with my Sephora stuff, what I got for my makeup. So, um, from Sephora. So just stay tuned. I'm gonna get right into this video because it's supposed to be a continuous, so I don't need to do all that talking, y'all. Here is my little Sephora bag. This video is gonna be much shorter than part one because it's not as much stuff. Y'all know when you go on Sephora, you, you balling on a budget because if you ain't rich, you ain't making no big money. Like you can't buy the whole stuff because you gonna be in there walking out, spending three hundred dollars, and you only got like ten items in your hand. You like how the hell? So everything I got is in this little bag. So it's gonna be a pretty quick video. With all the stuff in this bag, I probably spent like a good close to a hundred dollars. I wanna say when I went to Sephora, I got some um, cleaning spray. Um, for my brushes, I don't know if it's gonna work, but I just picked it up. If it doesn't work, I know for next time if it does, I'm gonna continue to buy it. The brand is Beauty Blender. It comes in this cute bottle. It's a spray bottle. So I got this to clean my new brushes. If you guys want to see the brushes I got, like I said, make sure you check out part one because that's the only way you're gonna see them. Also, I got this liquid eyeliner. It's matte and it's from Rare Beauty. I was originally looking for pomade um liner and i know anastasia has that one in sephora but the i don't know the lady she kind of convinced me to try this one she swayed me from what i really wanted so i said i'm gonna try this one but if you guys have tried this rare beauty eyeliner um in the color black matte let me know how it works for you guys but i'm really good with using my um the four eyeliners so i'm sure it'll work out perfectly fine for me oh it's like a little pin or something we're gonna try this out and see how it works hopefully it works good and this be a product that i um subscribe to and basically buy a lot we'll see the next thing i got was some setting spray this is in the brand sephora i really really need some setting spray because honestly i have not been using setting spray when i've been doing my makeup lately i've just been using um powder to kind of set it and that's it but i did invest in some setting spray because i want to start back using setting spray to make Make sure my makeup is all set and pushed in and blended well together so i got me some setting spray this setting spray was like 16 dollars i want to say so it's a good investment it's a pretty decent sized bottle i'm trying to show y'all the stuff that i bought and then i'm gonna show y'all the little gifts that they always put in the bag if you're like a beauty insider or whatever so one of the things that i got that was on sale was this sephora um brand lipstick it's in the color Autumn Wind 54. It looks like it's like a dark brown, dark purple type of vibe. And I just wanted to try this out because um, I tend to wear the same color lips. So I want to start doing different stuff. And I have a lot of lip colors in my little makeup um, posse type vibe, you know, my little makeup box. So I got this color to add to my collection. I'll probably try it. You guys are probably going to see it in one of my future videos. And this color was only $7. It was on clearance. So I was like, you know, I'm going to just get it and see how it works. I also decided to get this concealer in the brand Sephora as well. You guys can see I do shop a lot in the Sephora brand because their products are pretty good and they're really, really affordable. So I do shop in the Sephora brand a lot. Like my foundation that I have on right now is from Sephora the brand Sephora and I'm not sure in the, what color this is I kind of forgot but I think it's like 55 it's 55 and um it's only $20 so I use Sephora makeup but like I said I went to Sephora to get another foundation because I want to try something different we'll get into that later but I do have a, a new foundation that I'm going to be trying or not a new one but one I used to lose a long time ago that I'm going to tell you a story about that when I got when I get there I got this concealer in the color is seven custard custard and i'm really excited to be trying this concealer this concealer was more than i usually spend for concealers i usually only spend like four dollars for concealers 
but I got this one at Brand Sephora. I think it was it was over well over four dollars, probably over ten dollars too. So I'm interested in trying it and see how it looks. I know it was over ten dollars, so it better I better be concealed, okay? I better be concealed, or I'm going back to my cheap self, <laughs> y'all. I do not spend a lot when it comes to makeup. Like if it's not my foundation and my um, highlight and like stuff like that, I do not spend a lot on makeup. I st I tend to stay with like a lot of beauty supply brands for. The last thing that I bought from Sephora is my new foundation. I'm going to be going back with Lancome for a little while. I got Lancome in the color 510 suede. This color fits so good with my skin, y'all. Like, I'm telling y'all, I wish I could just... Hold on, let me show y'all real quick. Like, this color is so good with my skin. So, let me show y'all. I'm going to put a little bit right there. And I'm going to rub it in just so y'all can see how good this color fits with my skin. That's the color right there look you can see it like look at that it fits so like look at that y'all i really really love lancome i'm i think the reason i stopped using this because i saw that sephora was only 20 dollars and you know lancome is like 40 dollars or 50 dollars or something like that so i went to i went to sephora but now i'm back on lancome i was really trying to try ulta but no, not Ulta. I can't remember the brand, the first brand I was trying to try, and it's not on my, yeah it is, it's Ultra. The point is, I was trying to try this new brand, and I was like, first I was willing to try it, but then I went to my car, and I looked at the color, cause you know when you go there, they not really helping you pick out your foundation colors right now, like they're not doing skin matching or nothing except for right now because of the Rona, so, this late, one of the workers, she kind of helped me, was like, you know what, maybe this one will match, but she didn't put on my skin or nothing, we were just kind of eyeing it. And y'all already know, us black girls, it's a little harder for us to find our perfect color foundations. And I tried to have this lady help me with my foundation, and I should have known, like, she not. What is that? So it wasn't gonna work, because when I got to the car, that foundation was so light. I was like, yeah, no, this not gonna fit. You know what, let me just go back to Lancome when Rona over, then I'll try something new and I can actually color match because I knew that wasn't gonna work. And she was like, no, don't worry. It's gonna dry a color darker when it dries. So I'm not having it, just let me get something that I know of. So I got the Lancome because I did, I was tired of the Sephora brand. I wanted something that looks a little bit more rich and better. So I went with Lancome. The last thing that I got was these little gifts that Sephora throws in the bag sometimes. These are for my face. Um, this is some mousse, healing mousse. And this is some moisturizing cream. And then this is some seven day challenge. I'm not even, I didn't even open this yet. But I'm gonna try all these and see how they work and be done with it. That's everything that I got from Sephora. This is part two of my first video of my Amazon order. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below so I can know that I can do more videos like this. Thank you guys so, so much for watching my channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you comment in the comment section down below. below. Make sure you turn on post for notifications so you can know when I post. So you can get notified when I post. You guys can stay up to date with my videos. Yeah, guys, like, I'm gonna be trying to post videos again every other day so just stay tuned for that just know if it's monday i post it again on wednesday and i usually post around the time of five o'clock so thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys in my next video bye